One of the fairly unique benefits of Pants is that it has this really fine-grained understanding of the way that your project is set up, and specifically how your code is all related, such as what code and what files depend on what other files. So Pants has this command called Pants Dependencies that will tell you what a specific file depends on, both your third-party requirements and the rest of your code. So for example, we have this file contextutil.py. We can see that it depends on a third-party library called ANSI colors and another file that we have in our project called dirtutil.py. Pants can calculate this all automatically for you through a dependency inference. Pants will read your import statements and map each of your imports to the rest of your project. So for example, on line 10, we have this import of the module colors. Pants can map back that colors comes from the third party requirement ANSI colors. We also on line 12 have this import of a module durutil, which Pants can map back to another file in our project. All this dependency inference happens automatically for you. Pants watches the file system to see when you make changes. So when you add, for example, a new dependency, Pants will know that it needs to recalculate what those dependencies are. So here I'm going to add an import of the Toml library. And we can run this command again. We'll see that this time we also have the Toml library included. Pants also understands the idea of transitive dependencies, meaning the dependencies of your dependencies and those dependencies and so on. So for example, here with contextutil.py, uh, we can see that we depend on a couple other things. You can even get back the third-party requirement strings from our requirements.txt that this file depends on. Pants can also go the other way and get back for us what our dependies are, meaning everything that depends on a particular file. So everything that imports context util.py, for example. This is something, of course, that you can get with most IDEs like PyCharm. But what Pants adds is it can also compute the transitive dependencies for you. This is really useful when, for example, you want to change a common library that you have. And you want to see what the fallout is going to be for making that change. Um, it's also helpful if you want to, for example, get rid of a third party dependency and you want to see how hard that's going to be to do. Pants also has an integration with Git and understands the status of your repository. We, a little bit ago, changed that file contextutil.py. I want to see if with that change, if we broke any of the code that depends on contextutil.py. Normally, we would have to do something like run our entire test suite to be confident that we didn't break anything. But instead, we can use this command called pants change sense, which will look with git at all the files that we've changed. And we can also tell Pants that we want to get all of the transitive dependies of any of the change files. And we want to find all the relevant tests and run those tests. 